Number 15, Amber Alert. Hernandez is a seven-year-old white female, three feet four inches tall with long brown hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a black nightgown. State and local authorities have some access to the emergency alert system in use with missing children. These alerts are often referred to as Amber Alerts, which began in 1996. Amber Alerts can be used to share information of missing or abducted children on a country or statewide level. Most of these alerts describe the missing child and any information of their last whereabouts. Uploaded in 2016, this video shows an Amber Alert that aired during the popular children's show Arthur. The description reads, this child abduction emergency, aka Amber Alert, was broadcast on WFWA DT2 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Ironically, during an imagination sequence on the show Arthur, in which Arthur and DW are about to be captured by the evil rat bird. Leanna Hernandez is a seven year old white female, three feet four inches tall, with long brown hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a black nightgown. Renee Pastor is a six year old white male, three feet tall, short brown hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing black shorts. Aside from the common discomfort of these alerts, the episode in which it aired is indeed ironic and unsettling. Number 14, Nickelodeon. Oh, it'd be awful if they didn't hire you. Carlos. The National Emergency Alert System test is designed to run on any and all programming at the same time, regardless of what is being aired. This footage shows the test from 2011 being aired on Nickelodeon, a popular kids channel. During an episode of The Fairly Odd Parents, a message scrolls across the bottom of the screen to warn of the upcoming test. Perhaps this is in an effort to warn viewers. Of course, the problem is that most viewers are children and likely couldn't read or would simply not pay attention to the warning. A few moments later, the test is aired, complete with loud tones. While the test is required, you can imagine some kids were confused or even scared during the message and probably thought something was seriously wrong. This test message has been initiated by National Alert and Warning Authorities. There's not much that can be done about this, but it goes to show the strange fear associated with it. Number 13 End of Times. Unfortunately, there has been a few pranks or hoaxes pulled when it comes to the emergency alert system. In 2017, a false emergency alert was broadcast across Southern California. After a routine test of the actual system, the message warned that the world would end September 23rd, a few days after the broadcast was aired. The date was predicted at the time to be the date a random planet would collide into the Earth and destroy it. The message not only warned of the doomsday, but also hinted about an uprising erupting between citizens. Investigators were unsure if the broadcast came from a hacker or was caused by interference of a nearby radio station. Many thought the voice resembled a nearby evangelical pastor who had his own radio show and often preached about the end of times. Whatever the case, it's unsettling to consider the confused citizens when the message was forced into their homes. Number 12. Phone EAS after the rise of cell phone popularity, the emergency alert systems was integrated into cellular messaging apps so that alerts could be sent to phones as well as broadcast over the air. This makes it possible for alerts to reach people that are not near TVs and also helps with smaller scale messages like amber alerts and weather warnings that are local. Despite how useful the messages are and their intent for your safety, it can still be scary in the middle of your work or sleep if you haven't already deactivated notifications. 
This video, posted by Jack McCullum in 2015, shows what emergency alert system messages look and sound like on two different iPhones. They certainly complete their intended task of grabbing your attention. Number 11, CNN EAS test. In November 2011, the nationwide emergency alert system was tested for the first time. Though many news and radio stations warned of the test beforehand, some viewers were still taken aback by it. Additionally, this test seemed to fail in various ways which leaves citizens concerned about the effectiveness of the system during a real emergency. This video uploaded shows the test as aired on CNN. The message began by freezing the programming, emitting several warning tones, and displaying the message, this is only a test, several times across the screen. In addition, a narration explaining the test and the use of the system was played. And 45 After about 30 seconds, regular programming was resumed. However, in some locations, the message was not played at all. Some broadcasts lost audio, failed to freeze programming, or did not let the clip run for exactly 30 seconds. In fact, apparently, some broadcasts lasted six times as long as intended. Overall, the test was considered a failure. Number 10. Civil emergency. An emergency alert message from the city of Belgium. The short video shows the civil emergency alert message on TV appearing on May 22, 2011. According to the uploader, this would have been more suited as a tornado watch, but since it was originating from the city, of Elgin, they issued it as a civil emergency message. There's a clear difference between a tornado watch and civil emergency message, so seeing a message like this could be very disturbing, as civil emergency messages are only used in times of significant threats to public safety. This could have caused a panic in the surrounding area. Number 9, Sesame Street. Flamingo. <laughs> yeah, the flamingo is <laughs> Another prime example of how strange the emergency alert system can be comes from this 2012 footage. The description explains that the user's children were watching Sesame Street around 10 a.m. when the alert aired. The message was a tornado drill test that aired in Northbrook, Illinois. It helps to demonstrate how the loud tones used in these tests can be quite bothersome and disturbing. Teach me the flamingo. <laughs> the flamingo is <laughs> Tornado warning for all Illinois counties until 10:15 a.m. Again, tests like this is necessary for viewer safety, but such a sharp noise early in the morning is still agitating. Number 8. Regular Testing For TV lovers, or even those of us that love having our favorite shows on as a background noise, weekly or monthly tests for local alerts are common and even expected. Some people have become quite indifferent to the alerts, but others are still bothered by it after years. This video uploaded in 2012 shows a run-of-the-mill test that aired during daytime TV. The interesting thing about videos like this is seeing how tests and alerts differ from state to state. Oftentimes, the tests are weather-oriented for location. For example, areas with common flooding usually test their flash flood warning. Other locations test for tornado drills and so on. Number 7. 1992 LA Riots This is the activation of the emergency broadcast system for LA County. 
Effective at 6.45 p.m. the state. From April 29th to May 4th in 1992, riots broke out across Los Angeles, California, known as the Rodney King Riots and the Battle of Los Angeles. The riots sparked after a trial acquitted four LAPD officers of usage of excessive force in the heavily covered arrest of Rodney King. On the second day of rioting, the emergency broadcast system was used statewide for the first time ever to warn of the chaos. The Los Angeles County Emergency Operations Center has announced, announced expanded boundaries for the emergency curfew. Additionally, the unincorporated community of East Los Angeles, as well as the entire city of Los Angeles, continues to be included. The alert itself simply interrupted regular programming with a loud tone. It released information about the riots, locations that were closed or affected, and implemented a curfew. By the end of the riots, there were 63 reported passings, 2,383 injuries, and over 12,000 arrests. Number 6. Hacking Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Determined hackers can unfortunately gain access to emergency alert systems on local levels. Over the last few decades, several false messages have been aired to viewers. Some have warned the end of times, and others are less serious. This one, for example, warns of a zombie outbreak uploaded in 2014. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. The description reads, The emergency alert system computers at the KRTV television station in Montana were hacked last year. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. This warning applies to all areas receiving this broadcast. The uploader also states that the prank was highly illegal, and that is very true. We were unable to find any information on who the hacker was and if they were ever charged. Turn in to 9.20 a.m. to get updated information in the event that you are separated from your television or if electrical service is interrupted. Number 5. Tornado Warning Oh my god! Another flaw of the emergency alert system that often frightens viewers is the narrations that accompanies the video. While most information is displayed via text, a voice recording is often included for viewers that have sight problems. Of course, these voice clips are often very low quality, muffled, distorted, or impossible to understand. This 2014 upload shows a local tornado warning in which the narration is very muffled. The viewers sit around and laugh at the footage, but also express how eerie the message is overall. Yeah. Oh my god. That yeah, is creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> Aside from the obvious fact that these voiceovers are nightmare fuel, they also pose an unsettling problem with viewers that can't see the text. Imagine hearing this blaring warning without being able to understand the cause. Number 4. Radio Alert Perhaps more off-putting than TV alerts, Radio alerts are also a common tool. Obviously, with radio alerts, there is no text displayed for the listener, so instead they are met with unexpected loud tones and the muffled voiceovers. Thanks to the lack of text, oftentimes the warning is played for several seconds before a message is shared. If you aren't expecting a test, or you're unaware of what is causing the message, you are forced to wonder if you're in danger or not while driving on the road. This can cause great anxiety and panic in listeners, 
and could potentially cause accidents though none have been directly reported. This video was uploaded in 2016 and shares an FM radio EAS test while the user was driving. Number 3, 911 outage slash radio. A 911 landline outage has occurred in Butler County. Residents should call 724. This video uploaded in 2014 shares the rare radio broadcast of a 911 outage. This type of alert is used to warn citizens that 911 cannot be reached. The message is aired across TV, radio, and cell phones. The message occurred in Butler County, Pennsylvania. 2821221 or go to your local fire, police or ambulance station to report an emergency. It is clearly enough to startle a driver and in addition, the sheer fact of knowing that 911 access is down can be worrisome. On the bright side, at least in this broadcast, the voiceover is crisp and clear so the message doesn't have to be decoded. Number 2. Shelter in place. At Sussex Airport, it was sunny. According to the American Red Cross, shelter in place warnings are used when chemical, biological, or radiological contaminants may be released accidentally or intentionally into the environment. When this warning is aired, residents should Select a small interior room with no or few windows and take refuge there. These alerts are common in areas with many chemical plants. In the event of an explosion, or if severe weather has caused damage to locations equipped with chemicals, this video shows NOAA systems blaring a shelter-in-place warning from 2014. The Pennsylvania State Police are asking all residents of Barrett and Price Townships in Monroe County to continue to shelter in place. Systems like this are much more effective in sharing these alerts because the messages and instructions are much clearer. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT underscore chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. The Hawaii Missile Hoax The U.S. Pacific Command has detected a missile threat to Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. This EAS was issued on January 13, 2018. You may recognize this incident from the viral screenshot of the alert, stating that a ballistic missile was inbound and to cease any doubt. The last sentence states, this is not a drill. The video shows the alert playing over a basketball game. The US Pacific Command has detected a missile threat to Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. Remain indoors well away from windows. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. This is not a drill. Understandably, this alert caused mass panic in Hawaii. 38 minutes later, the alert was followed up stating false alarm. This was truly a horrible mix-up involving the emergency alert system. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!